Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to watch free movies, TV shows, and live TV on your NVIDIA Shield, Mi Box, or Android device. In this video, I will be using a Mi Box, but it will be the same for NVIDIA Shield and it will be similar for your Android device. The app I'm going to show you is called FreeFlix HQ. I'm first going to give you a preview of the app and show you what is available, and then I'm going to show you how to download it to your device. With FreeFlix HQ, you're able to watch movies, TV shows, and live TV for free. Everything on the app is for free. It is uh, a media player that will be searching the internet for links for various movies or TV shows. It also has the live TV. You'll see if you click on the upper left-hand corner on the three lines, you have your movies, TV shows, discover, anime, cartoons, live TV, wrestling, TV schedule, and news. So first I'll show you the movies and you'll see here it lists all the movies that are available but you're also able to choose in the upper right hand corner the magnifying glass so you could search for a specific movie. Now it's a little bit different than Terrarium TV. It's similar where you are able to watch movies and TV shows, but it's a little more difficult to use because in the upper right hand corner, you'll see this little antenna. If you click on it, you need to choose servers. And uh, it's a little more difficult to use, but it is very easy and you will get used to it. It's a great alternative to Terrarium TV in case you're having problems with it or you're unable to find what you want to watch. But there are other options on FreeFlix HQ that are not available on Terrarium TV, such as the live TV section. All you do is find the movie you want, you click on it, and then you will wait as you see the little circle turning there next to where it says trailer, and it's looking right now and searching the internet for different options as far as links to allow you to watch that specific movie. You then just click on watch, and then it'll bring up the different links that it has found and you click play and it's realistically that simple. You'll also see that if you click on the left hand corner where it's TV shows, it'll list all the TV shows. Again, you can search for them or choose one here. And then when you choose what you would like to see, then you're able to choose the different seasons that are available and also the actual episode that you would like to see. Now there's also, which is not available on Terrarium TV, your live TV section. So you will actually be able to watch live TV with this app. Now, you won't realistically be able to cut the cord with this to watch free TV, but it will give you an option. So if you have no other options and you want to get some channels, you will be able to get some, but don't expect it to be great so that you can actually cut the cord. Of course, if you want to actually cut the cord and completely eliminate your cable bill, just go to GearsTVIPTV.com. It's an excellent app. You will be able to watch hundreds and hundreds of channels. There is every available sports package. You will also be able to watch everything in HD. It's $20 a month for one device if you want to stream to one device at a time. To stream to two devices at a time, it's 35, 345, and 460. So it's as low as $15 a month per device. There are a number of different websites that offer Gears TV. You'll find some a few dollars cheaper or a few dollars more. Gears TV IP TV is the best we have found. They are PCI compliant. All your data is safe and secure. They even use PayPal as their payment method. You can use any major credit card or a PayPal account. They have 24-7 customer service. It's probably the best customer service we have ever come across with any company that we've ever used. So now let me show you how to download FreeFlix HQ to your device. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go down to settings, and then we're going to go down to security and restrictions. We're going to turn on unknown sources. Once we do that, we could go back to the home screen and we're going to go to the Google Play Store. In the upper left hand corner, you will see the magnifying glass. Click on that and we're going to type in Downloader. After typing in Downloader, we're going to scroll to the right and we're going to look for the Downloader app. It is most likely all the way down at the end. You will find it though. Click on Downloader and then click on Install. Once it is installed, click on Open. 
When you first open it, you will get the allow or deny. Click allow so that it can access the files it needs and click OK on the quick start guide. The first thing we're going to do is click on the URL and it'll open up our keyboard and we're going to download the browser for the app. So we're going to type in browser.aftvnews.com and then we're going to click next and we're going to click install. Once it is installed, click done. And then we're going to delete the file since it is no longer needed. Click delete and delete again. Now that we have the browser installed, you can click on browser in the left hand side and click OK. We're going to go to the left in settings and we're going to enable JavaScript. Click yes. And then we're going to go to the left again and we're going to click on browser. We're going to go to the top in the URL section, click on it so it opens up our keyboard and we're going to type in freeflixhq.com. Then click next. And then we're going to click on the download APK. Click install and then click done. Once it's complete, we're going to delete the file since it is no longer needed. Click delete and delete again. And FreeFlix HQ is now downloaded to your device. You can click the home button on your remote. And if you scroll down, you will see it in your app section. We always suggest instead of opening it from this area in the app section, go to settings and then go to apps. If you open it up from this area, it will allow you to clear the cache so that it never gets built up and always runs well. You would just click clear cache and then click OK. And then click open. When you first open it, you'll see your welcome screen with a little bit of information for you. Just keep clicking to the right and you will have your FreeFlix HQ downloaded to your device. We hope this video helped. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We will continue to post updates and tips as well as other apps as they become available. Enjoy.